Hello y'all and welcome back to my channel and it's a lovely day here in the UK uh, just a sw slightly chilly wind but uh, the sun's out shining just nicely on my solar panels keeping my batteries in the shed charging well today here I've got a rare uh, but this is the first time ever as, as you see in the past videos I've always made my own pillar drills but uh, with my health and all that, them ones a bit uh, worn out a bit. I need to do it, so I've gone and bought myself a new one. And this is a 350 watt drill press, uh, ENB 672DBT. It's from uh, it's an Energy, and it's from Screwfix. Now these Energy uh, uh, drill presses have been out since 2019, and I've got a friend that's got one and uh, he bought his, I think he only paid about 45 quid in 2019, that was like three years ago and he's had it three years and he's never ever had a problem with it and he's, he uses his a lot more than what I'm going to be using this but uh, what a machine, I, I really am impressed and this is a 350 watt same as his and he's got a 350 watt for the same reason that I've got a 350 watt well, I'm get, I got a 350 watt for the same reason he got one. Is because my shed's solar, so is his. Because I have three inverters. I've got a 1400 watt, a 2000 watt, and a 3000 watt. Uh, and the 3000 is like 6000 watt peak. Uh, the 2000 is 4000 watt peak, and the 1400 is 2800 peak. So, it's, it's going to operate in any one of my inverters. Uh, that's what I've got it for. Uh, at 350 watts. I could have got the 700 watt, no problem. That will work on two of my inverters, but I didn't want to, I, I don't do that much heavy work for the, to for the 700 watt. So I'm really happy with this one. Now, the, the uh, I've looked at all the reviews from Screw Fix for these drills. I'm not kidding you. I've never seen a bad one yet, to be honest. Uh, if anyone can find a different site, let me know down below. Uh, I mean down below on the on the on the video. Anyway, uh, in the in the uh, comments, well not the comments, the bit on on the top. You know, let me know. Give us a shout. Anyway, uh, uh, this is just going to be an unboxing uh, when I've got my drill bit when I've got it set up. Uh, I will show you it in operation. I've got some other things I need to show you in operation. But first, I've already done the the the. Uh, this is done there. I use my handy box opener, you know, with everything coming up and tape. I've got, I've got Stanley knives and stuff like that. Uh, but I, this is at hand at all times with me, so I use this. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is just like slice the tape, get it completely sliced through. I've done all the side, the middle, and it's just this side to finish off. Uh, right, and we've got it open now. Uh, the thing is, it's, it's just a small table area what I'm using, so I'm, I'm going to, you know, just that's why I'm just unboxing it. I won't be putting it together neither, I'm just going to show what's in the box. And we've got the instructions, which is, uh, I can't have to come right over the camera, but uh, you know, there's the instructions. Nice instruction book in English, uh, it tells you to read the instructions before you start, uh, and it's the energy. Uh, oh, energy. No, it's energy. And I'm going to chuck the instructions down here. Now, the first thing I'm taking out of the box is uh, the base. And as you can see, the base. It's quite a heavy base. Uh, look, take it out of this one. It's got plenty of uh, the grease on it, you know, to keep it protected from uh, well, possibly any rust. Now I like I like that uh, because it has two holes here where I can anchor it to the top, and then the three holes where the pillar is actually going to be stuck on. But I do know that there's uh, industrial grade super glue in, in here because you have to glue these screws in, these nuts into here. Uh, got a brilliant place for my uh, clamp to go on there, and things. so I am happy with this. It's quite a big, it's a big enough base for me. Uh, so well, stand isn't it? You call it. It's it's actually called a stand. I'm gonna put it down here for now. 
And then, next thing I'm going to take out here is, let's see what we've got here. Right, we've got the, the table. Yes. Oh, God, I like the table. It has a 45 degree tilt. So, basically, has a full 45 degree tilt. Uh, and I like the swivel on the side here just to loosen it and slide it up and down if you wanted to. Uh, the table actually tilts this way, that way. Uh, nice, very nice. It's made of a real good heavy metal. It looks like die cast. No, it's not die cast, I think. It is die cast, yeah, I think. But it's real good heavy one. There's the bolt under here. But you would adjust, you know, for your tilt to tilt it around by the looks of it. Let's have a look. Yeah, sounds correct there. That's the bolt for the tilt. Brilliant, brilliant. So I've always made, I've made my own tables, uh, and uh, this is a, a safety visor that goes on it, uh, it also lifts up, you know, it goes on there, it, it extends to, I'll just slacken these off a bit, you can't you can even see this, I put the camera a lot further away because I thought being too close is not what needs to be, I don't know if you can see my lighting, I haven't got round to it yet, but uh, it, it actually folds out, you can even do that with it if you wanted to, but it goes up and down, uh, and it just, just like that. there's the down, and then you can take it onto that, and it opens and shuts like so. Uh, got a load of plastic bags on this side. The nuts and bolts, and the handle, it's a, it's a three, a three, a three bar handle that's in there, you can see now. Nice blue ones. Uh, oh, the machine's going to be blue and all, I think, I should imagine. And it's got the bolts, necessary bolts to the bolt and the bracket on. What have we got in this box? It is heavy. In this box here. Uh, why would they want to? Uh, no, I don't think we have. Right, it's the chuck with a chuck key. It's the chuck key one. I found when I've done the, uh, when I put the, the chuckless one on my other drills, uh, I found that it was hard for me because my fingers, it, or my fingers like suffer badly from uh, aching and I've lost the strength in my fingers purely. That's why I've, I've opted to do this. Actually paid for one. Oh, by the way, I paid 50, 50, 58, 90 now. It's 59 quid from Screwfix, which is uh, like not bad because they were 45, it's 15 quid more than what I would have bought it in 2019. And that look is packed with grease. Uh, but it's a, a nice uh, three quarter inch ch ch uh, chucky uh, chuck. Really happy with that. That's about the size I'd use anyway. I wouldn't use anything bigger, to be honest. Uh, just turn this down here. Now for the the best part of it. Oh yes, this is where it gets a little bit more intense because this is the weight of it. And God, yeah, like a nice big pillar. I'll show that like just like that. A nice big pillar. Oh, my assistant has all made me a coffee and she's now going to open this door here. I let some air in and also put some more lighting because I haven't got my lighting brought in and set up and all that. But the nice base on it, it's a uh, just open it. It is full of the packing grease. I'm going to have to get a cloth and give it all a good wipe down. But it's well protected, that's a good thing. Uh, especially if there's no chips or anything think on there because that you need to keep that nice and clean you know to make it slide up and down but the grease will I'll, I'll leave the grease on this one and I'll just stand it back down there on, on the, the bag. Now for the baby uh, I might need to get my assistant to help me here uh, can I please have some help? Uh, she's there she's like sticking two fingers up at, at me uh, you know the Churchill one for peace but in reverse, that's what she's doing. Am I going to get some help, please? She stopped sticking her fingers up at me. The 
Oh, and reverse to Churchill way. Can you lift that out of the box, please, and put it on the table, and I'll move the box. Because I'm sitting down and you're standing up. She's right in front of the camera, so... Right, there's nothing else in there, is it? No. Right, there we are. Stand it on the table, please. That's it. And I'm standing it upside down, let you know what I've got to be doing. So there's my new baby. Now my baby's Lily Mae, but I've got two types of baby. A gorgeous, beautiful princess. And of the Uber card, and a gorgeous, beautiful 350 watt motor driving a belt on some pulleys to drive this baby. This is where the pillar goes, that goes on there. And they have a tensioner screw here. Which, uh, you know, puts attention on the actual belt. I think I'm not sure, but I will be showing them in another video. Good heavy clamping and everything on it, and I'm just trying to get it the motor, turn the motor on the side, so you can see. Uh, and I will be replacing this because that my mate he's got he's replaced this uh, because he's got problems. He said it's a problem. He said. Well, it's not a problem, it's just a, a faff on. Uh, and that is this this screw here. This screw here, because you need to get in at the belt uh, when changing speeds. And to take this screw off, put it back on all the time. He's been, he said, just put a wing nut on, which that's what he's done. Uh, on his, he's put a wing nut on it. But I'm just going to weld a bit across it, you know, so I can turn it. Like, just put a lug up here and weld it on there that should be fine uh, and then I'm, I'm off but as you can see it is uh, much bigger than anything and much heavier than anything I've ever built but I can see it do much better jobs but the handy thing is the size of it I can put it on my workbench top in there in my shed but uh, there's days where I can't actually get out of shape because my, my legs give up on me don't know why so what I will be doing is, uh, it's so handy and portable, I'm going to screw it onto a board so that I can use it in here, you know, because I do like to try and keep myself going. Uh, if it's only a little bit a day, at least it's better than nothing, because if it's nothing, that means I'm bedridden and I'm going to pop my clogs. So anyway, uh, I think it's an absolute bargain, because I've seen my friends, I've read reviews, uh, uh, for what I know, uh, the company, uh, Screwfix, have never ever had any returns of these, which tells you something. It is so cheap. Where, I mean, it's just, they, where can you get the, you know, these for the price? It is bigger than some other ones and better than some other ones for 100 and odd quid. This is, you know, 59 quid. You can't fall off, can you, know? I mean, well, I'll say 60 quid. You can't fall off. Screwfix is still selling them because they are very popular. They've got the bigger one for £129, but that is a marvel in itself. But this is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant for the price. And people, Screwfix is the only place to buy them from. Uh, skip the Aldi ones. Skip the... The Aldi ones are just the same, basically. Uh, they will be reliable, and so will uh, the Asda ones, etc. But they're more expensive than these. You cannot get cheaper than screw fix when you're buying these pillar drills. And I am, at present now, I am highly impressed. I'm excited to put it together. But I will do another video putting it together. That will be in my shed. Because uh, I have to get my lighting sorted out for the videos and that. So, uh, like today I can't get in my shed. But tomorrow I probably will feel a lot better. And I'll be able to go in my shed. And I will then, sh you know, show, I will put it together anyway. I'm going to put it together, I'm just going to show you how it works. And I'll explain how I had to put it together. But there is videos out there on YouTube that show you how to put it together. So anyway, until the next video, the, the, I'll put PT1 part 1. Until the next one, all I'm going to say to you, everybody, uh, I've had my first dose, I'm feeling a lot better of uh, the, the COVID dose. I'm due for my second dose in June, June. so uh, I'm going to get my second one. 
everyone please if you can get it get it uh, it doesn't I mean in my condition you people you know my condition most people do it's in a video there uh, and if I get through through it and it doesn't kill me then it's not going to kill you especially if you're, if you're more healthier get it stop this disease uh, stop this uh, virus from getting around anymore we need to get rid of it there's too many people died and that's the truth I mean I don't trust governments I don't trust this government especially it's the most bent government in the world but the simple fact is Covid is a killer and apparently this new strain hits kids too and it's dangerous protect your children protect yourself uh, I'm going to ask my assistant to turn up goodbye take care yeah